you just got NBA 2K19 and you're about to make your player. And you already know what your player building archetype is going to be. But you're about to make the biggest mistake of your life. Stop. Watch this video. And I'm seeing all y'all emotions. Came a long way from roaches. I ain't ready to burn, get the rolling. I ain't never needed nothing broken. Yo, what's up guys? It is Power D F back with another video. Now, I just want to say this video is going to help a lot of people. It's going to save a lot of people. And this isn't one of these stupid videos because I see a lot of people make these videos and they're like, yo, you should not make a 5-7 lockdown defender. You guys aren't dumb. I know you guys aren't dumb. I'm not going to tell you dumb builds not to make. This is going to be builds that are popular, that like YouTubers even advertise, tell people to make. But they're terrible, horrible builds that are going to waste you so much money. So watch this video. Hope you guys enjoy. But also one more thing. One more thing, bro. My friend Cyclo, I don't know if you guys know him, Cyclo DF. He was teasing me the other day about how I get no likes on my videos. So I don't usually do this because how I feel about my videos is if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. I'm not going to sit here and beg people for likes every single video. But if we could just, this one video, just so I can prove them, like the video. Like the video. Let's see how many likes we can get. Just like the video this one time. But let's get into the video. Okay, this first build, I already know what you guys are thinking. I really do. I understand where you guys are coming from. I want to be the tallest dribbler this year. I'm going to make this point forward. And he was good last year. Everybody had a point forward last year. The 610 point forwards, everybody that was a 610 point forward last year was amazing. And you're going to go to this small forward position. You're going to make it playmaking, passing the ball handling, passing the ball handling. Then you're going to go. See, that's already iffy build already when you do that. But then this is where you're really going to mess up. You're really going to mess up when you do this part. You change the height and you say, let's be the tallest dribbler we can ever be. Let's make it 6'10". No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you something. The 6'10.4 was a great build last year. This year, it is terrible. What they're going to do, they're going to confuse you because... This is a playmaking. You would think with a passing and ball handling first and a passing and ball handling second then you would be able to dribble. But what happens is when you actually make this build and you make it 6'10 and you put your wingspan, you can't even speed boost. Yeah, that's right. You can't speed boost with a 6'10 point forward. That's how much they patch this game. I know a lot of people are going to go out to make this build. They're going to upgrade their player. And you can't upgrade the ball handling right away. So at first you're going to think, oh, um, once I get my ball handling matched, I'm going to be able to speed boost. But no, and when you get it matched out, you still won't be able to get the speed boost. This is why this is going to be one of the biggest mistakes ever. It's going to waste people so much money when they make this pure point forward. Because if you have ball handling your build, you would think that you can able you can be able to speed boost. But not in this game. Not in this game at all. Maybe when you get takeover, you can speed boost because you get the attribute boost. But you're not going to be able to speed boost normally. So this is build is a huge L. Do not make a 610 pure point for it. Don't do it to yourself. Just don't do it. You don't want a ball handler that can't speed boost. Okay, this one, I get it. I get this build. I really do. You probably played 18. And you saw these pure stretch bigs that were overpowered. They made everything. They could shoot from half court. They could do it all. You probably watched one of these YouTubers that had a pure stretch big. Now, I get it. I get it. I get it. If you weren't keeping up with the news, you probably don't know about this. But if you go to a center position and you make the same build, the 7-3 pure stretch big that everybody made last year and it was so OP, they nerfed it. It's going to be terrible. You're going to go over here. You're going to go um, primary skill three-point shooting, secondary skill three-point shooting. I don't like this build in general, but at the five position, if you're going to make this, don't make it at the five position. Make it at the power four. It will give you way better badges and way better attributes if you're shorter. Make it a seven foot um, power four if you're going to make a pure stretch five. Because if you make it here at the five position, then look at these badges. Last year, you got gold limitless. You barely get any Hall of Fame badges. The only Hall of Fame badge you get is pick and popper. You get silver limitless. And just in case you guys don't know how bad silver limitless is for a pure shooting build, that's the same limitless that a sharp defender gets in NBA 2 19 Yes, a sharp defender. <laughs> so you're going to be shooting the same as a sharp defender. When you match out this three point, I know the bars look high, but it takes off attributes for your height and everything. So you make a 7 3 pure stretch, your three is going to match out at like 76, 77. It's not going to be high at all. This is build is a killer. I know a lot of people are going to make this build think it's the same as last year. They're going to try it out and you're going to waste your money because you're going to realize you're a shooter who can't shoot. <laughs> three, point, three point shooting that can't shoot. This is one of the 
Doom build. If you got a friend that has this build, spread the word, bro. Tell them. If you, I'm just gonna be honest with you. If you're in park and you send me a squad invite and you're a pure stretch five, you're getting declined. If you send me a friend request and you're like, I'm a pure stretch five, you're getting declined. <laughs> I'm not playing with a pure stretch five. This build, this whole build is a joke. Don't make it. Don't do it to yourself. Now this next build, I see where people are coming from because the shot creator, the pure shot creator is going to be one of the best builds in this game. It looks OP, it is OP, except when you make it at the small forward position and you make it 6-10. A lot of people are gonna think, like shot creators are really good. Pure shot creators are extremely good, especially if you make them that 6-3, 6-4 and you can speed boost later. And even if a little bit higher than that, a 6-5, 6-6, they're great. But when you start going to the small forward position and you make them all the way up to 6'10", that's when you're down bad, for real, for real. You're gonna look at his badges. So you're gonna be like, oh, these badges are pretty impressive. And you're gonna look at the gold, you're gonna look at the silver, you're gonna look at all these badges, and you're gonna be like, I can really score. You're, like, you're, gonna, you're gonna think this build is OP. You're gonna look how high the mid range is and how high the three point is, and you're not gonna realize. The height is gonna kill your shooting. You're not gonna be able to shoot that well. And this 6'10 pure shot creator is never gonna be able to speed boost. So you're gonna be a shot creator who can't create your own shot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really like that, bro. You can't make this build extremely tall. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You're not gonna be able to get open. You're gonna get clamped. And even though you have these high mid-range shooting stats, there's gonna be no way for you to get open on the mid-range. It's not gonna work. You're gonna be too slow to guard their guards but you're not gonna be tall enough and big enough to guard the big people. You're in like this big medium where you're like useless and you can't really shoot threes like that. You can only kind of shoot mid ranges so you can't really stretch the floor that effectively it's like, it's like you're like useless. I don't know how to put it bro. This just don't make this build. This is one of those builds where it looks good in theory but in practice it is a horrible, terrible build. And I, people might, people recommend this build all the time. Pure shot creator but they don't mention do not make it at the small forward position. Make it at the shooting guard or point guard and make it a lot shorter than 6'10". That's all I'm saying. Next. Okay, now this next build, this is what we call one of those dumb builds. But it has to be pointed out anyway. It just has to be pointed out anyway. If you're trying to win NBA and NBA 2K19, you're not going to make this build. You're just not. But somebody that's new to the game that doesn't understand how this game works is going to make this build. So I had to point out, I had to warn you, they're going to go to the shooting guard. They're going to be like, my favorite shooting guard, my favorite player of all time is Kobe. And guys, my favorite player is Kobe too, bro. But I'm not going to make this build. They're going to be like, I want to make my player just like Kobe. He's going to dominate in the park. I'm going to put him shot clean first. And in secondary, I'm going to put post scoring. Just like Kobe. Just like Kobe. Hall of Fame mid-range dead eye, Hall of Fame difficult shot, Tyler score, and you're going to be like, look at his mid-range. He's going to be so good. Except for one thing. He's not going to be, be able to get open. He can't speed boost. And in the park, and Pro-Am, you need to be able to shoot threes. He's going to be like in this medium where he can't really do anything. <laughs> he, this is not a good build. Post-scoring right here, there's no point of ever, ever, ever putting post-scoring on a guard. You can't score in the post on guards. You just can't. It just doesn't work out. You don't want your guard in the post. You want him to be able to stretch the floor. You want him to be able to dribble. And this archetype can do neither of them. This is just a horrible build overall. It might think you're going to be like Kobe, but you're going to be nothing like Kobe. Kobe had gold limitless. This has, let's see what limitless this has. This has bronze limitless. Kobe had a whole repertoire of moves that this archetype doesn't have. Don't make this build think you're going to be Kobe because you're just not. You're not. Now, this last build, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate for it in the comment section, but it has to be said. And it's not horrible like the other builds, but it just doesn't make sense to me at all. You go to the small forward position and you make this pure sharp. And you want to make the tallest pure sharp um, possible, people will say, because, oh, because I can shoot and test over people. But in reality, it's going to reduce your shooting. And here's the big thing. They pretty much gave you no reason to make a pure sharp small forward in this game and yes it has good hall of fame badges like a pure sharp should have but they take down limitless range down the gold i don't understand like why like you see what i'm saying the whole point of a pure sharp to me you don't make a pure sharp unless you want hall of fame limitless you can shoot deeper than everybody that's the whole point of a pure sharp in this game otherwise you can just make like a three-point shooting um you could put um, shot creating or something like that in behind. And you can get gold limitless right here. There's no point. Why don't you make, instead of making a pure sharp, 
at the small forward position, you might as well go to the shooting guard, make the same pair of sharp, get better shooting badges, and you can still make it sets eight. There's no point in making this pure sharp position at the small forward position. There's no point. I'm gonna show you guys right now. You make I'm gonna make the same archetype, the same exact archetype right here, and I'm gonna make it look. Hall of Fame Limitless, so much more. That's that makes a big difference. I don't care. Hall of Fame Limitless is not the same thing as Gold Limitless. It's just not. It's really not. That's the whole point of making a pure sharp. So when you make it at a small forward position and you make the pure sharp, you're just messing up. You're you're just destroying the point of the archetype. I hope you guys know what I'm saying, bro. And this is not you. This is still a decent build. I'm not gonna lie, bro. But it's like you do make a shooting guard or make that power forward pierce fast. Why would you? I, I don't understand, bro. I really don't understand this build because it's only two inches. You can only this can only go up to six ten. The shooting guard can go up to six eight. So it can't be the height difference. This build just makes zero sense to me. But. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Watch this video. Do not make these builds. And if they still don't believe you, be like Power DFs told you to. Okay? Simple. I don't want you guys. Trust me. Even if these builds look good, once you get out the actual playing with them, they will just play horribly, and you just end up making a new player, and you'll waste time and you'll waste money. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me like the past couple days since the prelude drop has been amazing i appreciate everybody liking the videos commenting i read all my comments if you guys made this far i do read all my comments and subscribing and all the love i've been getting i appreciate it a lot and we're gonna keep grinding i'm gonna be trying to upload daily especially the first week of 19 so i appreciate it make sure you guys like comment comment which one of these do you think is the worst build if you have any other builds that you recommend people not make just share information in the comment section you feel me and subscribe if you guys are new and i'm out